Hello and welcome to Web Titan Cloud. Today I'm going to go through the basic steps on setting up Web Titan Cloud. From start to finish, it should take no longer than five to 10 minutes. On signing up to Web Titan Cloud, you will receive an email with your login details, the URL, and other information needed. So we log in. The first screen you are presented with is our dashboard. There's no data in it yet because we aren't filtering through it yet. The first task is to go to the settings and locations tab and add your external IP address. We have four options here. The first option is static IP. The second option is dynamic IP. If your external IP address is a dynamic IP, you would add your current IP address to here and you would install a very lightweight agent on any node within your network. This will keep your external IP address updated to our Web Titan Cloud. You can also avail of dynamic DNS. If you have a dynamic DNS name, you can add that here and we will resolve against that to make sure your IP is always up to date. We also have a roaming option. If you have people with laptops who are on the road or connecting to different Wi-Fi areas, this on-the-go agent will make sure that laptop is always brought back to this policy. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I am going to use static IP address. And a little tippet here at the top right hand corner, this will show you your current external IP address. So we simply add that and we'll call it test and save. What that now has done is that has told Web Titan Cloud to accept connections from that IP address and to associate all those connections or those DNS requests, associate them to this policy. Now we set the policy on the policy categories tab we have 53 predefined categories. We incorporate the world's third largest URL database, and this is constantly being updated. So these are the most popular categories to block. Spyware and malicious sites, violence, weapons, spam, pornography and sex, phishing and fraud, nudity, hate speech, criminal skills and hacking, and alcohol. And we simply save this. Now, any site that falls under those categories will be blocked. If there is a site that falls under these categories that you would allow, like to allow, say under alcohol, you would like to allow Budweiser.com, we have a whitelist. So you'd go to the settings, whitelist and blacklist, and you would add Budweiser.com to this whitelist. And the same if you have a category allowed and you would like to block one domain that falls under that category, you'd like that to be blocked, you would simply add that to the blacklist. From a Web Titan point of view, that is its setup. The next thing to do is to point your DNS requests to Web Titan Cloud. In your welcome email, we'll supply you with the IP address for your DNS forwarders. But for the subject of this test, I know the IP address of this site or of the Web Titan Cloud. So I will go to my network and sharing and point my laptop to be filtered by this cloud. And I'll save that. Now I'll demonstrate the block page. So I have alcohol, we'll keep with the same example. So I have alcohol blocked. So now I'll try to go to Budweiser.com. And as you can see, I get a block page. The block page is 100% customizable. You can change all the text and you can also add your logo. 
This can be done from the Settings Block Page tab. And now to quickly demonstrate our dashboard, we should now see traffic being reported on. We can see this on the dashboard. Now we can see requests have come to us and the actions taking the top block categories, top allowed categories, domains, and so on. And also on the reporting tab, here is a semi-live view of the traffic going through. And as you can see here, Budweiser fell under the category alcohol and was blocked. And there's my external IP address and the time that it occurred. Thank you for watching.